Hey, hello, it's Gravity. So we're going to look at <clears throat> two... We're going to take a look at some player-owned town templates. And specifically, we're looking at Swamp Island 1. So I'll give you a quick overview of what these maps look like. We're just hanging out here today. So this is... This is actually Swamp Island 1A in the template manifest, but there's also Swamp Island 1. The difference is simply the walls, if you can pick that up. That's 1A. It has a fixed set of walls, and then 1 has no fixed set of walls. Other than that, these two templates are the exact same thing. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a comparison of the different main entry points. So there's four main entry points and there's actually there's actually several quick travel spots but we're going to look at these four main entry points as choices from which we can kind of front our town. So when we put Baron's Reach in one of these places we're going to come in on one of these pins by default. So we want to pick one. The main docks is the default one in the template and it's actually where I'm standing right now. So let's go back to the game. So we're on the one with the walls. We're gonna have a look at that. We're at the main docks. And I'll quickly show the other one. So there's side docks one, side docks two, side docks three. And that was how I labeled them on those, in those images. So as we run through here, that is the default entrance. I'm assuming the default entrance is where this quick travel picks you up from. Uh, I, can't, I can't say for sure. I can leave and come back and it generally puts you right here. So I'm assuming that as you quick travel to these other spots, that's the same as if it was your default entrance. That, I'm making that assumption. I'm pretty sure that's the case. At, at, at the very least, it's going to be very close to that area. So, so this is the main entrance. Uh, you can see from the map on this entrance, if we, take a, if we uh, go back to the map just quickly, we'll go back to one since we're on the one with the walls. So you can kind of see that we're, we're sitting here. We're very close to the entrance of the main, what you call the main city. There isn't immediate land around you, but there's some, but it's off to the side. And it's either off to the side or behind you. So there's some land over here and there's some, and even more land over here. And it's not, it's not a trivial. It's not a little bit of land. There's certainly more than one plot, but it's not huge. It's not, it's probably not keep, it might be a couple cities. It's probably not a keep. It's definitely not a castle. So we can kind of get a sense of where we go into the city here. And I'm not going to go far into the city. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on just having a quick look. And now we are in the city. And you can see how big this area is. You can see the wall way over there in the distance. And you can see the wall very way over there in the distance. Uh, it's the middle of the afternoon, so hopefully I get this video done before the sun goes down. So there's, going looking at the gate, you can kind of see the city, you can look back to where we spawned in, and, you know, it's very close. So obviously the, the, the significant thing here is that when you spawn in here, if there was a stranger or a visitor spawning in here, they would immediately see this gate, which might entice them to go through it. And that would give us a pretty good, they, they, they would certainly know where to get to the main city. It would be right there. So the next thing we're going to look at is actually side docks two. Side docks one, well, let's stop, let's stop at side docks one first. I don't think side docks three is in play. This is a long way and there's not a lot of space around it. So I think main docks and side docks one are actually pretty much equal. So let's jump over to side docks one. So this would be where you might come in. Again, I'm assuming that if this was our main entrance, this is where it would be. There is quite a bit of land immediately to the right. There is sort of some land over here. I think on top of this hill is some land. So there's, there's some interesting things. Yeah, definitely. There's a few spots up here. The, uh, it's pretty obvious that the gate is right there, right? You can see it's not too bad a run. I got dash on now, but you can kind of get a sense of how far this is nonetheless. The sun is going down. How much more of this can I do before the sun goes down? So there's side docks one. 
This is interesting because it's the city becomes wide instead of long. You notice that the gate actually pops up here. Um, so again, it's very big. This is in the center of the wall. Uh, but you kind of get a sense. So I think the choice between main docks and the side docks one is sort of equal, except for the fact that the city becomes wide instead of deep. Uh, that might matter, I don't know. So now we're gonna go jump over to side docks two. This is where you jump in. The gate is quite a bit further away, but if you go to side docks two is up here, you immediately have open space in front of you. And that's a big difference from the main dock. So you have this plantable area that's immediately in front of you and you have nothing behind you. So you have actually have open ocean behind you. I think there's probably, no, I don't think there's water lots out there. So the water lots would be on the coast. There's a water lot right there. And there's probably one well, maybe there isn't one over there. There's a few over here. So anyway, we get, you would end up, this this road could actually be, um, could actually be cutting through quite a few lots. Uh, there could be a number of lots in here. And this would, this would certainly be a fairly good area to put up some activity. Uh, and then people would end up living in the city. So the question is, is do you want people to focus on things that happen right when you come in, or do you want people to go into the city? So this is the, this is the view from up top. The city is long again, it's not narrow. So again, we're up here, we're looking south on this map, although we can get the 180 map, so this would still be looking north. But it's, it's, it's all the same. You get these maps, they just spin them on each of the, they spin them 90 degrees when you ask for them. Uh, so you'd come in here, you would have a little bit more land around you. You would have all of this land quite a ways away, but they're all, these fast travel points are still available. So you'd still be able to get to a number of these places. So, you know, that's, that's kind of a differing choice. This actually, this option to me becomes more interesting if you don't, let's go back to, let's go back to the main docks here. It is dusk, it is getting dark. I didn't time this properly. Let's see if I can hurry. So I can only do one cut. I'll turn on a light, but it's not gonna matter when we're looking at an entire player owned town. So we're gonna go jump back to the main docks and we're gonna jump over to not island one, swamp island one. We're gonna jump over to this. This is the same map. It's the same map as we were just looking, except it is without. So this is this one. It's the same map. It just doesn't have the pre-built walls. So same map. So this is this is that bottom spot again. And here you can kind of see how notice the walls are gone. So you're immediately in the city. And I think this is actually like if if Baron's Reach were to consider going wallless, wallless, not lawless, although we're sort of lawless, but wall without walls, this becomes a bit of an interesting look uh, because you don't have those walls dividing up the city. So when you come in here, you have city back to your right over here. You have city back to your left over here. Plus, you can obviously see all of the establishments directly in front of you. Uh, this one is also interesting if we look at side docks 2, which is flipped 180. It's the same thing. You suddenly now have quite a bit of city. There isn't a lot. There's a hill here that I don't think can be built upon. So this hill would remain open. But everything up through here there's a little spot here, and then there's there's an area where the wall is. So the wall is normally, was that it? That might've been it. So you see this little slope? 
So this is where the wall was, probably right here. So you can't build in the slope, but you can build right up to it on each side. And then this is the main city. Is that right? Something like that. So anyway, I think that's something else worth considering as well. So it did, it did start to get dark, but I think I covered off most. Yeah, it's pretty dark, but I think I did cover off most of um, what we're looking at here. So that's kind of the different views. Uh, and again, we go back to, uh, I think, I, I don't really have a strong opinion. I think all of these are fairly valid. Um, you know, the coming in from the main docks means this this mass area right here. If you if we do have the walls, that gate is right in front of you and it's very close. Over here, that gate is actually quite a bit further away. And I think it might be useful if we want traffic to pop in, use a vendor and then pop out. It's useful to have those vendors near the main spawn in point. If they're looking for a bank, same thing. If they're looking for a crafting station, maybe they want to do some repairs, same thing. So I think there's some value in having uh, things fairly close to the spawn in point. So there's convenience for people who are transients that are just dropping in momentarily and then leaving. Uh, I like either this one or this one, main docks or side docks too, probably a little bit more. I'm actually torn between doing the walls or not. Uh, we've had a tradition of having walls, so I kind of like it. The walls are kind of cool. Having the walls be static means we don't have to build them ourselves, which is also kind of nice. Hard to say. Anyway, there's some things to think about there. Again, I am Gravity. Uh, I was I was asked to stream this, but I thought it would be easier to actually do a quick YouTube video instead, just because it didn't need to be very long, like a stream. So there's some interesting things. This can spark some discussion. I don't have, I have certainly not come to a conclusion on the matter. I'm definitely interested in living on the sea, coming out of the mountains. <laughs> we'll see. We got a move coming up. It should be exciting. Thank you for watching, everybody. And we'll talk to you all very soon.